Hello, Gemini, and welcome. We are going to do something new this week. I had some extra time in the month of May to present you all with a new series. So I hope you enjoy it. We're going to take a deeper look into your relationship using the mirror spread. So let me know down below in the comments. And if you do like it, um, this style, we will um, incorporate it or try to incorporate it in the monthly reading somehow. This is for Gemini. Gemini, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Gemini, this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Gemini, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Gemini. What is going on with Gemini? What is going on with Gemini? Let's see, there you are. Okay. Okay, so this is far from over for this person. It's over for you, it's not over for them. You are quite pissed. And you may stand your ground on this one. This person still cares about you, okay? So, Queen of Cups energy, they get very emotional about you. But you, um, and, and I feel like you love them too. You love them too, but it's if whatever happened here, whatever happened here, you, it turned your emotion off. You went cold towards this individual. Now, let me show you this. We got the, the Queen of Cups here, and we've got the King of Cups, okay? So this is two people that, um, and you may say, no, they didn't really love me, or they never would have... Um, they never would have done what they did in the first place, but um, they still very much care about you, Gemini. Um, and once upon a time, you cared about them too. Um, you're trying to close this chapter out. You're trying to cut them out. You're trying to end it. They, whatever they did, um, it, 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 it made you change your mind about this person. It made you see them in a completely... Um, different light, but they still feel um, connected to you spiritually. Um, so I want to say they still feel married to you, even if you guys weren't even married, but it was that deep of a connection for this person. They still feel committed to you, right? Let's put it simply. They still feel committed to you. Um, but I got a feeling that they should have been feeling that way when they were actually with you. I do feel maybe uh, for some of you, maybe not all of you, but loyalty was an issue uh, when it came to this person. Um, so do you still love them? That is the question. Can you still give your heart to them or is it completely, are you just done? Because it's looking kind of like you're done here. And you're going to stand your ground. Um, that's what I'm seeing. But it's not going to stop this person from trying to return to you. All right. So this is you, Gemini. We've got the Queen of Swords energy. And like I said, um, you've cut off emotion. Before, before whatever went down, went down, you were thinking with your heart and not your head. You love this person, um, but they kind of destroyed that love. Um, and now you're thinking with your head and your heart, you've put that on the back burner, okay? So you see things very, very clearly, and um, you're trying to stifle that. You're trying to shove all that emotion down, 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 and um, trying to get through. Um, this is hard in you in a sense, and bottom line here, Gemini, uh, embracing, going from that queen of sword, queen of cups energy, right? 
to the Queen of Swords energy, you're pissed. Gemini is pissed. Okay. So. The way you see them, this is a chapter that is over in your life. You don't want nothing to do with them. Um, it's complete. You're done. That's the way you see them. The way they see you, Gemini, and the way they see themselves, I should say, is they are returning to you with the Six of Cups. So they see themselves returning to you. They think about you all the time. You're on their mind. Um, they know they screwed up. They know they screwed up. So they see themselves uh, getting back together with you and you see them <laughs> as no. It's a no. What this person represents to you, um, it was love. They got, they, you got, you allowed yourself to get very close to them. Now you could be dealing with a water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart. This was your lover. This was your best friend. This is somebody that um, was very charming, very endearing, very um, caring. Then they do care about you, Gemini. They do, but they, um, you. I feel like you're saying, well, they got a strange way of showing it, right? So, King of Cups energy. Um, they represented love somebody that you trusted with your heart and I feel like they broke that trust what you represent to them is commitment they still feel committed to you like I said before married to you that that words popping in my mind um, maybe they're going to come back in such a way where they're going to want to kind of lock it down settle it down make it things official so you you won't you know slip away from them so easily because you're shh, shh, you cut them out you would be dealing with a taurus or somebody with strong taurus in their chart so you represent forever um long-term commitments higher love that's what you represent to them the obstacles within the relationship is you being done with it you could be dealing with a scorpio or somebody with strong scorpio in their chart so um, that's the obstacle you feel like it's over they don't feel like it's over they feel like they want to return to you and they can return to you but i don't know if that's an option here that you're going to give them but of course, at the end of the day, it is up to you, right? And another obstacle, uh, this person, they had some habits that they needed to change. And those habits were what brought down the situation, okay? Um, it was bad. It was toxic habits here. It could have been, you know, multiple people. It could have been some sort of addiction. Whatever this was, um, they needed to transform out of that and get serious and that never happened so now the ending of the relationship is literally the obstacle the strength within the relationship um it's like sometimes and i feel the sometimes we argue we fight to make up fight to make up um get that drama going right and uh, experience that type of intimacy when there's a lot of drama it can get pretty you know it can be intense um i feel like the attraction there the passions there there's jealousy it's dramas there and maybe you know uh, um there was a little bit of an addiction to the the dramatic side of um the the relationship here right I also feel like a strength within the relationship with this particular person, especially if they've brought multiple people into the situation or they were big on playing games here, I feel like that is coming to a close, right? Uh, I feel like that is coming to a close and now they're, they're wanting to settle their energy down and be done with all the drama 
and simply be in love with you and be with you. But it may be a little bit too late here, Gemini, because I see you standing your ground, but I also see them not giving up. So this is two people in the warrior's pose. You're standing your ground here. You're blocking your heart, but at the same time, they're standing their ground too, and they're not going to give up on the situation. So a lot of um, hot hot heads. <laughs> That's what I want to say. A um, couple of um, stubborn energy here. Seven of wands, that is fire. Let's clarify that. Yeah, see? Four of cups. They're, they're going to try to come back, but you're, you're, you are upset. Right? And see? Something toxic brought this energy down. Something, a habit that needed to change that they did not change. Something toxic, like I was talking about before. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. All right, before we go any further here, let's clarify that Seven of Wands for Gemini. That Seven of Wands for Gemini, what is going on? Yeah. Um, they're going to make it work. They're going to do whatever it takes to win you back. We got the Magician here with the Eight of Pentacles. So they're going to work on it. They're going to get They're going to get busy. Fixing themselves, fixing the situation with you, manifesting, manifesting you back into the into their reality. Okay, they feel like they've got everything to to do this to make it work, to make things better. They're going to get to work now. Now that now 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 they're really going to change, not only for themselves but for you. Right, for you. So let's see what they have to say here, Gemini. This is for Gemini. What does this person have to say to Gemini? What does this person have to say to Gemini? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So this person is now experiencing the loss of you and now they know if they they want you in their life if they want this commitment here with you gemini they're going to have to change their toxic ways i feel you even though we are apart so they still feel connected to you married to you spiritually connected to you committed to you they it's not over for them this is not over for them it's over for you but it's not over for them but they have to change themselves completely in order to be in in your life and they very well know that all right gemini i hope that resonates with some of you most of you all of you like i said at the beginning of the video you can now follow me on instagram facebook twitter and now tiktok Please do follow the links that I provide. Um, next week, Gemini, I'll be working on the future love readings, so check those out for June. For those new to the channel, welcome. I have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. All that can be found down below in the description box. Gemini, you have a great week, and you take very good care of yourself, and I will talk to you soon. God bless.